Good evening and welcome to the Vernon Township Supervisors meeting for September 5th, 2019. And we'd like to start with a prayer and salute to the flag. Supervisor Schneider. Bless us as we gather today for this meeting. Guide our minds and hearts so that we will work for the good of our community and help all your people. Teach us to be generous in our outlook, courageous in face of difficulty, and wise in our decisions. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank Wagner? Here. Baera? Present. Malami? Here. Snyder? Here. Smith? Here. Okay, this time we'll open the floor to citizens' comment. If we have any one would like to citizen comment? No? All right. Move right up to the approval of the minutes for the July of the August regular meeting. <laughs> Make that motion. I have a Sorry. motion. And second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Thank you. <coughs> Finances motion to direct the treasurer to issue checks for the approved vouchers due for payment. I have a motion? So moved. Second. Motion in the second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion to ratify payroll for the employees for August, last two weeks in August, and the supervisor's pay. So have a moved. motion. Second. Motion and a second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> you want to you. Yeah, it threw me. Yeah. Sorry. Um, any correspondence? No, no correspondence. Okay, thank you. I'll we'll start. Move right up. Um, you have the police report? Yeah, I have the police report. Uh, okay. The chief's a little busy with uh, work right now, so I'm going to give the police report for the month of August for him. Um, they responded to 277 calls for the month. They had five criminal arrests, uh, 19 related traffic incidences, nine citizens locked out of cars, 31 stops for violations, which resulted in five traffic citations. Um, they had 26 warnings, two citizens assisted non-traffic, two ordinance violations, um, seven court hearings, all of which were criminal. And uh, the chief just wanted everybody to know school's back in session. Watch out for the kids with the buses. Obviously, um, the guys are out in the mornings and in the after school hours patrolling, making sure everybody's stopping, especially on 322. If you know, the bus is coming east and you're going west and it's not divided, you have to stop. So you just want to make sure everybody knew about that. Um, he also wanted to mention with the roundabout, just give yourself a little extra time when traveling through there. Be cautious of the workers. Fines are doubled along with a license suspension in the uh, construction zone. And finally, please obtain your burning permit before you burn. And that's what the chief uh, wanted us to mention, wanted to mention for tonight. All right, very good. Thank you. Any questions on the police report? Comments? No. no. <coughs> this we'd like to have a motion to approve the new police contract for the years 2020, 2021, and 2022. So moved. A motion second. and a second. Have a roll call vote, please, Rob. Wagner? Yes. Baera? Yes. Maloney? Yes. Uh, Snyder? Yes. Smith? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And we'd like to have a motion to approve the full time position for Officer Amanda Kosterman, effective September 1st, 2019. I'll make that motion. Second. <coughs> motion and a second. We roll call on that? Roll call, correct. Wagner? Yes. Bayer? Yes. Maloney? Yes. Snyder? Yes. Smith? Yes. All right. So. That's very good for the police department. Move right on to the road report. Ludwig Dembinski. Thank you, Chairman Maloney. Good evening, Supervisors. Uh, August uh, finally wrapped up a lot of big projects. Uh, we worked on manhole risers prior to the paving projects. Uh, we patched puddles on both the blacktop and gravel mm -hmm. roads. Installed gravel along North Watson Run Road around the mailboxes and driveways. 
until the uh, shoulder backup was installed. Installed. Uh, did shoulder ditch bank rehab on some uh, steep ditches on uh, North Watson Road and on Reynolds Roads. We cut and cleaned the berms under the guide rails at the, the uh, Edder Bridge on Sportsman Road. Continued milling berms and boom milling brush uh, uh, second third passes back. Check roads after winning rainstorms a lot uh, on the 16th, the 19th, the 21st, and the 22nd. Cleaned up a lot of down trees. Uh, some on West Vernon, Keyboard Hill, Van Horn, Turner Alley, Lincoln Avenue, and the uh, trail by the uh, uh, on the trail by the ball field number two. Uh, cleaned clogged pipes on Glen Street, Reynolds, Cotton, and Beaver Dam out of the West Vernon Road cross pipe. Uh, Mowed the PennDOT Drive Exam Center and the Cutter Road Township lot. Ditch cleaning on Middle Road, Cutter, Stevens, and Van Horn. Installed a new driveway pipe on Siemens Drive for Andersons. Stole a new industrial drive sign down at the uh, Avtex facility for the EPA. Helped Sasbury Township with spray patching uh, for a day. On equipment maintenance, uh, the John Deere Tiger boom mower installed new blades and mower skid. Truck 5 repaired the wiring to the hydraulic pump. And I don't have it on my report, but uh, we did get the uh, bill for truck 3. I believe it's done. Uh, had a lot of major work done on it to uh, keep it in business for another year. Uh, on the 2019 paving projects, uh, Sharon Paving paved Middle Road, North Watson Run, Rogers Ferry Roads. Uh, the project is now completed and uh, everybody seems to be very pleased with the job. Uh, another nice job by Sharon Paving. Glad we had them this year. Uh, Lindy Paving paved the uh, Community Block Grant project. Those roads were uh, half of Reynolds, Hank Street, Vernon, Vernon Heights, Glen, and Dunham Hill Roads. That project has also been completed. Uh, we had to repair a couple of spots, uh, and they took care of that, or they took care of the couple spots, and uh, everybody's uh, very pleased up there on the hill. Great, great. Any questions for Liz? I'd like to give a lot of thank you. Our viewing audience wasn't here for the work session last night when a gentleman came in and said what a great job the paving did on one particular road. He said it was like just beautiful, just like glass. And uh, that's a good road department and uh, good supervision. Thank you. Job well done. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Which pipe was that on West Vernon? Uh, between Kitelinger's and uh, Kitelinger's trailer up there. That big that, one? Yeah, that big one where it yeah. goes into that. Uh, that's about the only one I could think of that would add. Yeah. Yeah. We, we had trouble about a week with that, Don. We had to go back two or three times, and now it quit. So hopefully it's they got discouraged and moved on. Is that the inlet or the outlet? Inlet side. Yeah. Yeah, that's always fun. Cool. All right, we've read right into administration zoning. Rob? Good evening, supervisors. August was a tremendous month for the zoning office. I issued 10 zoning permits and two signed permits, resulting in $9,972 in fees for the township. This brings our yearly total in fees collected to $41,107. It's been a great year for construction in the township. Um, as Lud mentioned in his report, all our major road projects for the year have been completed. I'd really like to say, take a second and thank Lud, Scott, Bobby, and Larry for all the work they did this year. Um, these were some major projects that involved a lot of road prep to get them ready for the contractors to come in. Uh, the daylighting alone on some of these projects started a year ago and continued throughout the winter and spring. And I mean, these roads are, look great now. Um, and so I really have to commend them for the job they did. In regards to the CDBG paving project, I've been working with the county to wrap up the paperwork for that grant project. On August 14th, I attended a meeting with officials from the city of Meadville and Westmead Township to receive a briefing on the Meadville Area Recreation Authority's proposed baseball facility um, project. As these three municipalities that support them are, they wanted to make sure that all the municipalities knew this project was feasible with private donations and grants that would not require any additional financial support from the municipalities. Um, as we're moving into the fall, now it's time to start talking about the 2020 budget. For the first step in this is our minimal, minimal, minimum municipal obligations for all township pension plans as required by state law for 2020. This past month, I've worked with our action area forum, Dunbar, Bender, and Zap to determine these numbers. For the police pension fund, our MMO is zero. For the non-uniformed employee defined benefit plan, our MMO is $171,628. For the non-uniformed employee defined contribution plan, our MMO is $7,500.
These numbers will be used in the 2020 budget, which we will be beginning to work on later this month. Finally, I'd like to mention the French Creek Council of Governments, which we belong to, is holding an entire collection event on Saturday, September 14th. This will be held at the Crawford County Fairgrounds at Gate 1 from 8 a.m. to noon or until the collection capacity is reached. Uh, they'll be taking only clean car and small truck tires without rims. Um, the fee is $2 per tire, a limit of 12 tires per vehicle. This is open to uh, Crawford County residents only. And additional de details can be found at FrenchCreekCog.org. And that's my report for tonight. Good, thank you. Any questions for Rob, please, or comments? Yeah, I wanted to bring up one thing, and uh, I know Rob's uh, heard about it too, and it's about Roach Park. And uh, it's something that's kind of been in the back of my mind for a year or more. We really don't have like a five-year, three, five-year plan or a target. For the mo most thing that we're doing there is pretty much keeping it open and cutting the grass. We really don't have a long-range plan on doing some improvements. One thing that comes to mind is the big league field that we do not use and hasn't been used and uh, possibility of a partial dog park or something. But uh, I've had several people call me concerned about, you know, the grass is cut, but the trimming's not done. People over the years have donated flowers, put them in, but they're not being weeded and all. And I think with the budget coming up, that we ought to address that uh, and see if we shouldn't be maybe trying to earmark a little more money towards that direction. I mean, that's, that's our baby here. I mean, uh, we, we were so proud of that. I mean, you just go down there on the weekend, and the shelters, they're, they're rented, you know, uh, every weekend. And uh, I, I just think that we should be giving that a little more attention, maybe form a committee. I know I would help out on it, maybe Rob and get a couple people or something from the outside and try to come up with a plan how we can move forward with that. Uh, we, you know, we, we do give money to the, the mark and uh, I'm not saying take anything away from there, but we have our own responsibilities here. We have Lincoln Avenue besides uh, uh, the Kurtown Park and then, of course, Roach Park, where I think that we, we need to, uh, you know, put some effort into putting a, a forward plan on that. Because, I mean, would you, or would you agree with me? We really, I mean, uh, next year, what, what do we have planned for there? Right. We've, the past couple of years, it's kind of been a year at a time, and a lot of it has just been yeah. maintenance. We haven't really put any work into improvement, but I agree. I think we should put together somewhat of a three or five year plan going forward. Because it can get away from us. We lost a couple of the, uh, what do you, the carvings, I think the Indian and stuff like that. And that, that's fine, that happens. I mean, that stuff uh, dies out or whatever and falls down. But, you know, we don't have any kind of replacement in line and, and uh, black topping or anything like that. And additional, I know with the Brom prop property, we. How, what is the status now on the gazebo? Uh, it, it's ordered, and the road department should be putting the base in this month, and we'll be having that in. So. I don't. I mean, do you guys have any comment on that? That well, we, we don't use the ball field at all. Not the big league field. No, and it ha there's no big league teams playing. Nothing playing. No, I future. mean you might see some kids running around on it, but the, currently the only I, I think they use it for some practices. They use it as a practice field, and then uh, right now, for instance, the past. I think three years the YMCA has been doing soccer there in the fall on the big league field. They kind of divide it into right. two or three fields. Also and used soccer. Would it fields. be better to make two soccer fields out of it or to, to, to configure it for a small a, a little league field or I, I think I think those what are, are the needs? I think those I think that's something we should look into. I I'm think not, your committee idea is a great idea and I'd yeah. like to be on it. Okay. No, just no, determine the needs and it just find yeah, out what we can do with it. Yeah. 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 You can't I do it overnight, but you know, that's a big spot down there. And there's so many people that walk dogs and dog parks are so popular right now. Everywhere you go, they're being put in. And uh, you know, not that whole thing, but you partition something off or whatever. And I just think there's a lot of property there. It's just being mowed right at the moment, you know. So, well, I look at another pavilion. Yeah, there's there's someone someone like always ready. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. But I just, Good I just, idea. Yeah, I just think we should, you know move forward with Roach Park. I mean, that's just yep. such a great place. No, I agree. We'll put something to work this month, maybe have something that's for the work session, kind of put some, a little bit of a committee together to work session. Like you said, it's the perfect time to do it because we can work on it throughout 
winter and then get started, you know, running. Because I think some spring. people out there are watching us. You know, no, on, I, I on agree. Monday, I know. agree. I mean, it's. I think, you know, do something on the defense or offense, I should say, not the defense. Okay. That's good to be <clears throat> proactive. Correct. So, um, that's great, Fritz. Thank you. Uh, anything else for Rob? Yeah. Thank you, Rob. Yep. Um, engineer's report, Ashley Porter, engineer. Thank you, Super Rogers. Uh, along the lines of the uh, recreational planning, I, I can, Rob, Rob may already know, but there, there is DCNR funding for master planning. They'll partially fund the master plan, and then that sets up the projects that you decide to do for later funding through, through DCNR as well. So if we can we can visit that as well. We've got a number of municipalities that we work with on those those plans for That's great. for set up the long term planning and it involves uh, township stakeholder meetings, just the you know, home municipality involved. So, uh, other than that, uh, report that there's as everybody's aware, there's ongoing construction in the township. Uh, not only in the roundabout, but the adjacent buildings and buildings and up and down the corridor. Uh, this month has been <clears throat> somewhat a struggle for some of those sites because of the rain events we've had, and uh, we've had follow-up with contractors. They've been very good at, at uh, policing their sites and keeping things cleaned up. Uh, we anticipate that will continue well into the fall and winter, and then we'll get ready for it all again next next summer. So looks like uh, we'll be will be uh, continuous construction for as long as I can see right now, which is good for them. Good, good. That's all I have. Any questions for Ashley then? Thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Solicitor's report, Mr. Mr. Thomas. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, I, I have no unfinished business, but I tell you, I will accept the position as superintendent of Roach Park at an annual salary only of $91,000. <laughs> Would you do it for 90? <laughs> we appreciate your input and we'll take that I'll, I'll into consideration. Thank you so much. Thanks. Watch what you ask for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. Any, any questions for Mr. Thomas? Thank you. New business. Um, we're ready to have a motion to approve trick or treat be scheduled for October 24th, 2019 from 6 to 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. So motion? Moved. Have a motion? Second. Motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Aye. We, we picked that date. It coincides with other municipalities, the surrounding municipalities, and I understand the children do not have school the next day, so that'll work well. And they can have a whole week to get ready for the parade and everything. So, any old business? No? All right. Uh, at this point, we'll uh, have our upcoming meeting be October 2nd, supervisor's work session at 7.30 p.m. And October 3rd will be the supervisor's regular meeting at 7.30 p.m. And would like to have supervisor comments. We'll start with Gary t tonight. Uh, I don't have a lot of comments, but I did talk to a couple people that uh, didn't come to the meeting and, and didn't uh, come to the uh, work session on the public uh, comments. They said that they didn't want to be singled out and they were embarrassed to be on TV. Well, you don't have to, to, to have that problem. Uh, you can come to the work session, it's not televised. And it's very, very informal. Come with your blue jeans and your baseball caps and your t-shirts. Because Johnny half us are anyway. But uh, if you do have a problem with any of the township, with uh, a road department, police department, building, whatever, uh, feel free to call me or call the township building, and if you ask, it will be held in confidence. And uh, so just to keep you informed that you do have a voice, we want to make this place even better. So you can call me at 573 2523 if you've got a problem, and I'll keep it confident. But uh, we have a really good department, really good supervisor staff, and and road department, and I'd like to keep it that way. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Gary. Jeff? I think the only thing I'd like to say, you know, oftentimes the public sees us on the camera, and I think I'd like to recognize the people who aren't often on the camera and behind the scenes, because without them, without the road department, without the solicitor, without the engineer, and too many others to mention, um, what we do wouldn't be possible and wouldn't be as efficient as it is. So I just want to thank 
everybody else involved and see that they get recognized a little bit for all that they do. Very good. Very, Very good true. comment. Yes. Thank you. Fritz? Uh, just a couple of things, as, as Rob mentioned. Uh, the French Creek Council of Government, the COG as they call it, uh, is having that tire collection and recycling event at the Crawford County Fairgrounds Saturday, September 14th. And it's a, it's a great way to get rid of those uh, old tires and things like that so that uh, we don't have to pick them up off the back roads or anything like that to get them up there. But that's, that's a very good thing. And then the roundabout, without the chief here tonight, Greg and I didn't get to ask him how the accident situation is up there. And uh, I understand there was uh, a, a, an accident up there today. And I, I know there's been numerous, so please be careful getting through that. Take your time. And uh, it's, uh, it should be behind us here in, what, November 1st, I guess, the end of October. But uh, um, that's really all I have. It's shaping up for sure. Yeah. Greg? Well, Fritz pretty much hit it. I was, I said I was going to avoid that at all costs, but I've purposely been traveling through the roundabout and it's, things seem to be going pretty smoothly. It's, it's nice that it's open as a single lane for more of the learning curve before, you know, the two lanes and everything goes through. But I was curious as well as Fritz, we usually are, about what's going on up there and accident wise, but, you know, I really haven't been hearing of I what I expected. I think you're up to five. Yeah, I, it's going to happen, I guess. So, uh, yeah, that my main concern really is, uh, you know, just be careful going through there. I guess we're going to all figure this one out together. And that's it. Good way to put it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'd just like to thank uh, specifically Fritz and Gary for working on the police contract. Um, I understand that went really smoothly and uh, the... It was, it was pretty um, just smooth with, with our police and, and the supervisors. Uh, they got a, what they wanted and, and we were able to work with it. So uh, I'd just like to say you. Gary had kind of the lead. I kind of was being led by, <laughs> by my hand there on this first time through. And Gary really, uh, he knows what he's doing in that. He's well, we done have, several we have of those. a very good police department. Yeah. Right. And they were very amicable. Mm -hmm. We never even raised a voice in the entire negotiations. Perfect. That's, super that's, people. Super that's people. Great. That's great. Great. Right. Sure. No, to you yeah. know, to, to do that without any hostilities is very commendable. And I'd like to welcome Amanda Kosterman into a full time position. I understand she's been doing a terrific job and uh, really looking forward to having her full time. And thank Armstrong Utilities for being here this evening. And uh, at that, I'd like to call for motion to adjourn. So moved. So moved. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? No. Meeting adjourned.